mentioned earlier, this is it. The last in a series of matches. And let's face it, so far, I don't know who's the better of the, the two men. Abdullah the Butcher is the better of the two men? Well, how can you say that? Well, you asked me my opinion. Yes. I'm giving you my opinion. Is that your opinion? But I want to know why your opinion states that Abdullah the Butcher is better. Well, Abdullah the Butcher has been in professional wrestling more years than Steve Strong, so he has more wins on his side. No, he does not against Steve Strong. As a matter of fact, he's been disqualified twice against Steve Strong, and one time it was a countout for both men. Well, I guess we're going to have to have a debate about that. But of course, Abdullah the Butcher, I must admit, never had his shoulders pinned to the mat. He no, never... and it's not going to be you in Verdun Auditorium or Ontario, wherever it's going to be held. You won't be able to pin the shoulders of Abdullah the Butcher. I might not be trying to pin his shoulders. I might be trying to inflict pain. And also, it was stipulated in the contract that the match will not be televised. You against Abdullah the Butcher, it will not be televised. Why is that? Is that you don't want the people to see the beating that you're going to get or what? Uh -huh. Wrong you are, Mr. Creechman. E, it's your father. Your father would not sign the contract unless there was a clause in there that said no TV. Unbelievable card, you against Abdullah Butcher. And then you got your son, Junior. Yeah, he thinks he's a big shot. He's the, the, the television champion, but he's going against Rocky De La Serie in a tape fist match with Brother Bob in Rocky's corner and Trey Travis in your son's corner. You got Strong against Nagasaki. You got Strong Crawford Ruzo against Sims, uh, Charlotte Nagasaki. You got the two headhunters are going against you know who? Yes, I know against Mendoza and Hawaiian Punch. And also Jason, Friday the 13th. Now there's an impressive man, Jason. Wait. 330 pounds, very impressive. Wait till you people see him. Right, let's get back to the action here. Abdullah the Butcher right now getting with his karate chops, the best of Steve Strong, biting now. Abdullah the Butcher does what he has to do. Oh, that's great. I mean, that is just fine. Well, you just, will you keep your eyes on this match, Brito, because it's going to be you soon. I am. It's going to be you on the receiving end. I don't know, with Abdullah, I might be hitting everywhere. Low, high and low, and then anywhere. High and low, eh? Yes, sir. I'm not going to take no chances. I'm going to try, try to, to hit him in the chest or... A rabbit punch the man, you know you can't hurt him that way. I, I know where I can hurt Abdullah. You're taking a chance just by entering the ring. Yeah? Well, that's your opinion. Would you like to make a side wager on this? No, I'm not going to make no wagers with anybody because I take this match too seriously. Anything could happen. True, I could get hurt. Well, I'm looking for an extra buck. I know you are. You're always uh, looking for an extra dollar. Steve Strong, you see. Not abiding by the rules. Steve Strong throwing punches to Abdullah. Abdullah's got so much scar tissue around the eyes. That's why he splits open so easily. Beautiful chop. Beautiful. Impressive Comes chop. back with another chop. Abdullah, very methodical in his way, don't you say? Think for Abdullah, look at him. Look, he's vicious. Look at those chops, Brito. <laughs> but look at the conditioning of the man. I think eventually, the longer the match goes, the better chance you have against Abdullah the Butcher. Abdullah the Butcher is like a steamroller. He comes into that ring, and you know, like when they pave the sidewalks, Abdullah will just roll all over you, Brito, and it'll be the end of you. He weighs 450 pounds. That remains to be seen. First, let's him get by Steve Strong. If he does. Whoop! The movable object against the irresistible force right there. Steve Strong going wild, going haywire. I don't know, what's he got around it? He looks like... Rabbit punches, rabbit punches. And now, he's also... Oh, he's I mean, biting him, you I see? Don't, I don't go for that. Sure, I don't go for that either. No, I agree with well, you. Well, I mean, whether it's Steve or Abdullah the Butch, I don't go for that. That's since he's not with me, since he's on the other side. Since and I'm sure the fans that are watching, they want to see some holes and counter holes, and they, they don't want to see biting. Come on, Strong, that's it. So far, though, you got to admit, Strong has been getting the, the best out of this match. Abdullah is a tough man. Look at that, look at that, the headbutt. Beautiful scientific move. Not too scientific, but very, very effective. All I know is that Steve Strong is in a lot of trouble now. Yeah, and uh, I was watching that match. By the way, I was there. Because every match that Abdullah has had in the last month or so, I was at ringside. I know, you've been watching. Watching his every move, 
And uh, there we see your dad giving, a, or Abdullah asking your dad for something. What is it? He's pushing strong. Look, 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 look. Your dad goes, what are you doing there? What are you falling around well, my father? I've, I've seen a, your, your dad with something in his hands. Yeah, I just took it away from him. That's not your dad. And I'm glad. Oh, I'm so glad they're not showing that on TV. They etched it out. You see, you attracted Abdullah's attention, and Strong went and hit him with a clothesline by surprise. But and then comes Nagasaki. Naga, and that's it. And that, that was a disqualification of somebody there. And I believe it was a disqualification of, of uh, Abdullah the Butcher. You started it, Brito, and Abdullah's going to finish it with none you. None other than Steve Strong.